Ali Dawa. He is a man of Muslim beliefs, an Islam man. And he created, he basically posts stuff online about Islam, um, answering misconceptions, making inspiring content for all to benefit from. Well, he's not inspiring any fucking women. Let, let me show you this shit. This is, this is his female partner. I have my wife on my right. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Sarmakum. Fuck does that mean? Shaking your wife's hand. She's not going to be in the video, but she's going to have her say um, with this whiteboard that I bought her. Are you taking the piss? So, this lady right here, because in Islam women don't have many rights, I believe, and you know, they always make arguments that they do, but uh, every time I see stuff and now this guy's, you know, he's going to go and make a video and I'll show you one later about him saying how women have all these rights, this and the other, yet he's not allowing his wife on the camera and he's just going to give her a whiteboard like a six-year-old child to write a little story and tell us what her feelings are. Now, my personal opinion is, shut the fuck up, Ali. Let her speak. You know what I mean? How can you control this person because she believes in a certain faith it's discreet it's just ugh. but why is the default that the woman is innocent and the man is always guilty okay let's tap 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 like you're a fucking oh, like a doorman like excuse me can you can you bring me my eye can i have a glass of water can you you know brush my hair can, am i allowed to breathe i hate stuff like this you know what i mean it's not fair and you know poor women then will complain and then get beat into oblivion you know they can barely drive in these places in these countries not sure where this guy lives he sounds like he might be an englishman but it doesn't excuse your behavior mate like tap him like slap like oh excuse me i have i like to speak shut up bitch you can't speak you're a woman it's shocking mate it's terrible something my wife wants to say uh, Salama probably had enough as women give out give a lot of chances. It's kind of ironic that she's got a right and then they, this dobber wobber can't even read. You know what I mean? It's like, right, I want you to speak to me. I'm deaf, by the way, and I can't see, but speak to me. It makes no sense, mate. Oh, let, let, write down your thoughts and feelings. I'll read them. I l l love uh, y I love you. you I, I wish you would let me derive and wouldn't cover me up like I'm a fat sloth trying to escape the the zoo. Has zero tolerance now. Okay, this is why I want you here. Yeah, it's very important for you to be here. Yeah, sisters take the past traumas of their father or ex-husband, etc., and and project it on other people. So, okay, she's saying, how dare you give me the fucking white bird twice? Twice in five minutes? Here you fuck. You've not spoken this much in entire life. Wait until I tell your fucking father about her. There's this amazing Ricky Gervais joke, uh, as is many of his jokes, where he goes, "It's not up to me what um this his mu his Muslim wife wears. That's up to her husband." <laughs> Uh, it's a cork, you see, because it's multi-layered. It's like an onion. On the outer, it's just there. You know, it's not up for me. Like, I, I, I can't say it. But it's up to her husband. Bang. Big bing bing bong bosh. She made the video, not him. I don't know his opinion. Well, exactly. There you go. Okay. There's nothing else I have to say. Anything you'd like to say? If you do, just let me know, inshallah. <laughs> If there's anything you'd like to say, make sure you brush it past me before I read it out loud and you even write about it. In fact, before you even think it, I would recommend just discussing it slightly. Because if you think something, and you know, let's say, what what, what would you like to do? I would like to drive. Ha! <laughs> I'll throw you in the fucking bin, mate. You know, it's just crazy. He went to the hellfire. Again, I know you guys are going to be like, oh, it's a reality check. Okay. And he saw a majority of the women of the hellfire. Why? He said, not because they are ungrateful to Allah because they are ungrateful to their husbands. Anything that I said wrong is from shaitan and myself. Anything good is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Does anything you disagree on? No. Nope. Okay. Is there anything you disagree on, huh? Is there? Eh, no, I didn't fucking think so, mate, you stupid little fucking women. Yeah, I bet you fucking would like to do that now, wouldn't you? Nah, fuck, go fuck yourself. You can't fucking speak to me. Nah, go fucking die. Go fuck off. Right, you might think I'm being a bit silly. And I probably am. But, big booty but, I just can't, you know what I mean? Why do you have to ask your permission? You know, she's not going to be on the video. You're not going to see her. You're not even going to speak. But you can write it down. Oh, thank, thank Allah in all his wisdom. Twats. So, we are going to watch a Christian and a Muslim fight it out with words. Now, I love this sort of shit. Nothing beats it. You know, like watching Jordan Peterson fight woke people. It is just literally to me like heroin. I've never done it never will but i can imagine you get the same type of buzz these sort of big arguments and holding a, cro a cross thinking it's going to save you it's like good lord and by the way they're both as bad as each other i think religion's a good thing when done right but so often it's not done right and the problems have been 
echoed throughout history and life for hundreds of years how many wars how many people have to die for god until people wake up and go oh yeah this is actually a little bit crazy i'm running head first into gunfire because apparently god wants me to it don't make sense tell you if you think that because we're christians and i'm holding this cross okay. that you can come here you can lie in our faces lie. and that you can attack our people then you go, 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 go. Ali Dewar. Peace. Fucking John Lennon's rocking up. So this is like, I'm not even sure what you would call this. This is like a, a big march thing in London, the shittest place in England. And uh, it's basically no to racism or whatever, whatever you, but it's obviously turning into a slightly bit of a racism because 50% of the English population are racists, whether you're white, black or in between. They all hate each other. I'm telling you this as someone who had been there and was called a white cracker as soon as I stepped out the car. As a 12 year old boy, I thought that was a compliment. I later found out it indeed was not. And personally, myself, as a British Muslim, everything you said there, not everything, I'll say about 20 25% of stuff I agree with. Because the thing is, my question here is to you. Give me, sorry, give me one second. Okay, okay. If you can call it as well, because I really want to see Jada as well. Yeah. The okay, Queen, not even when you can shake the Queen's hand. I, I believe. Why don't you shake my hand? I believe. I, I was there. I was there. Why don't you shake my hand? It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Corinthians. Now concerning the things about which you wrote, it is good for a man. I don't understand this. They always do quotes and like shit don't make sense. He wouldn't see. He won't shake a woman's hand because he finds women below him. You know what I mean? He's like shake my hand. You know, and yeah, all right, maybe maybe that's not the reason. But why would you not shake her hand? Because he doesn't believe in it. We've just seen a video of the guy literally covering his wife up. You know what I mean? Like some pornography your mate put on your school computer when you weren't looking and the teachers come round and you have to quickly fucking shut that shit before you get kicked out. He too has covered it. I'm just asking you, why don't you have okay. to can we just three to meet and shake that okay, hand? Okay, can I, can I, can I? Am I, just, I that? Is it because no, 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 no
uh, it's just a tricky one, isn't it? Like I said, I, I, I know Muslims, 99% of Muslims are good and 99% of Christians are good. But unfortunately, that 1% seem to be everywhere. You know, uh, they always do. And I'm not saying one's better than the other. I'm not saying either are better than each other. But I just think this is a, a bit of a joke, man. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's two wrongs talking and trying to justify their points that aren't making any sense. I mean, you don't have to, if you went after the gangs, I would support you. Oh, cheers, buddy. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, no, no, that, that's good to know. That's good to know. Cheers, mate. Right. You point out to me, yeah. where are the Sikh grooming gangs? Where are the Hindu grooming gangs? Okay. Where are the okay. atheist grooming gangs? Okay. Where, where are they? Okay. It, the epidemic comes from the scriptures, okay. from your prophet, okay. which says that the Kufa, yeah. Allah said, that the Kufa can be taken. The kufa and like you're bringing up a paedophile ring groom young girls before repeatedly abusing them 10 years ago bro at least when this video came out you know what i mean how you know you're just bringing up one example of this look we're gonna we're gonna draw the shit to a close because it kind of pees me the fuck off this sort of stuff is just a joke ladies and gentlemen p he truly has no respect you know islam mistreats women you can watch this and go into what you know, but the evidence is there unfortunately if you go to a muslim country like that you're gonna do things like that same with christianity there are certain things like that uh, aren't good or don't paint women and men in a good light. I just think this sort of stuff is, uh, you know, to cover your wife, have her, you know, look like this, not allowed to speak, only to shake. You know, she's shaking her hand there. Like, you know what I mean? Is it because they're not allowed to touch me? I don't know. I don't care either. But to cover your wife like that, say she's not going to be on camera, she's not allowed to speak, she's not allowed to, you know, have an opinion, except if she writes it down and then if I deem it appropriate, I'll read it out. This sort of shit's a joke, mate. It's a joke. And the quicker we move on from this sort of stuff, the happier and healthier people will be. Look, I wasn't planning on getting so deep and political and all this sort of stuff, but I think it's... Um I like to think I've got an opinion that hopefully uh, you, you didn't find tedious or painful to listen to. Unlike this gentleman right here who won't even let his wife speak and cover her up and won't allow her on the on the thing i mean it's, it's truly beliefs and different opinions but you know if i had a daughter and this was how she was treated i'd be fucking like what the hell are you doing what are you doing what are you playing at and why are you doing it but yeah guys look let me know your comments down below let's try you know not call each other nasty words it's not a dig at anyone i'm just don't like how you know this guy's got a million fucking subscribers and he's basically a fucking sexist you know what i mean towards women you like you can't wrap your woman up like that and then say she can't speak and then put a bunch of you know poverty children to show that you're the good guy like it doesn't work like that mate